the moment that she divorced and the moment she left the institution, then she was by herself. Yes, she may well have been one of the most influential and powerful women in the world, but she was completely exposed to this. I saw things, I experienced things, I learned things. The pain and the suffering of women marrying into this institution. I remember thinking, how can I ever find someone who is willing and capable to be able to withstand all the baggage that comes with being with me? Every relationship that I had within a matter of weeks or months was splattered all over the newspapers and that person's family harassed and their lives turned upside down. So, you know, I mean, after one or two girlfriends, the third or fourth girlfriend, you know, be like, hang on a second. I don't know if I want this. So when I got to meet M, I was terrified of her being driven away by the media the same media that had driven so many other people away from me. I knew that the only way that this could possibly work is by keeping it quiet for as long as possible. All right, Chase, what do you got? Not a whole lot here. Uh, when he said she left, was by herself, the pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution, there's a whole lot of insinuation a whole lot of insinuation going on. Zero information, actually. Zero. And we see the first genuine expression of contempt here when he's talking about the press. Uh, but the only genuine expression is when the press is driving people away from him, specifically away from him and his life. Not about his mom, but about him and his life. So it's devoid of actual information. It's a lot of vague ideas, vague platitudes, and it's mostly hollow. So it's a lot of talking, some great, wonderful piano. And uh, <laughs> that's about it. Mark, what do you got? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful Michael Nyman-esque piano again. Fantastic. Love that stuff. Um, nice, nice roundup gesture that he does. They're nice and big. The idea of the baggage that comes uh, with me and wanting somebody who can withstand the pain and the suffering that comes with being a, a woman in this uh, institution. Again, I don't want to uh, hammer this too hard, but I've got nothing else to do this evening. So, so I will. Um, it, terrified of her being driven away by the media. So, <laughs> so it's terrifying when your mother dies and and the mother was driven away by the media. <laughs> Literally, the media were behind her, the paparazzi were behind her, and she was driven away to her Easy. death. <laughs> Easy. Uh, I don't want to hammer this this one of of the rhyme of history uh too much, but uh but there it is in a in a what some people might call a Freudian slip there as to um, not terrified that uh, his mother will be driven away again. There, that's all I got on that one. Again, because I have nothing but to better to do this evening. Scott, what do you got? Okay. <laughs> no, okay. I was going to say, maybe it's the drugs from your uh, tooth. Right. No, they didn't give me, uh, the they didn't give me any of those. Unfortunately, none of those truth serums. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, the, the dentists keep those very well locked away these days. All right. Not in America. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm here a little bit of uptick where it's turned a little bit more towards him. A lot of I, a lot of me, a lot of things like you guys were saying, a little bit more toward him. Um, and he leans forward on the completely to sort of drive that home. And then he's still relaxed. His cadence is normal. Um, his illustrators are still big and on point, no stress cues to speak of. And he sounds like he wants to marry somebody just like his mom, which I think he's attempting to do. But you compare the two, uh, Megan's getting nowhere near the, the Diana level. Am I going too hard on that whole thing there? Yet. 
(laughs) (laughs) She's not there yet. Okay, Greg, what do you got? Yeah, so a couple of interesting things. He talks about pain and suffering of women marrying into the institution. So I guess you needed one. You decided to go outside of the institution, which, Mark, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not like there are nine women in England who fit that institution. There are many, 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 many aristocrats there who would fit that organization. So he had to go outside and find him one just so he could watch the pain and suffering. I suppose. I don't know. Maybe Mark, he is trying to repeat something. That's an awkward choice of words when you are the person who wanted to date outside of that circle. So kind of an interesting one. Um, The best part of the whole thing for me is his message is fluid and unhalting as if he didn't notice it. Chase, I think you are right dead on. It's not a lot. He doesn't use a lot of facts. I think he, alludes to that when he says he's more like his mother. And he said earlier, she thought with her heart, sometimes not with her head. I think he is more feelings and music than he has thought. And we're not getting a lot of thoughts, a lot of facts. When they do those selfies, there's no Duchesne smile in there. I, I don't know what that's about, but it is what it is. And then that contempt or disdain is pronounced when he talks about them taking people away from him. It's all about his feelings. This is going to show us what his whole message is going through here. That's all I got. All right. And Scott, he's going to show up on your Hallmark channel with all that music. And yeah, I hope so. The moment that she divorced and the moment she left the institution, then she was by herself. Yes, she may well have been one of the most influential and powerful women in the world, but she was completely exposed to this. I saw things, I experienced things, I learned things pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution. I remember thinking, how can I ever find someone who is willing and capable to be able to withstand all the baggage that comes with being with me? Every relationship that I had within a matter of weeks or months was splattered all over the newspapers and that person's family harassed and their lives turned upside down. So, you know, I mean, after one or two girlfriends, the third or fourth girlfriend, you know, be like, hang on a second. I don't know if I want this. So when I got to meet M, I was terrified of her being driven away by the media. The same media that had driven so many other people away from me. If you like this video, get the full body language breakdown and analysis on our main channel by clicking this video right here.